Hey guys, you guys ready for some BFS buzzbait fishing? That's right, top water is my favorite thing to do when it comes to fishing. And uh, yeah, I got myself some small buzz baits. Now they're not that super duper tiny ones like the uh, Mukai one, that is a super micro one. And to be quite honest, I don't see that really feasible for a certain type of fishing, especially what I like to do most, which is catch some bass and some snakeheads. You know, I love to fish these swampy areas, and I don't think the mukai will work at all, you know. Uh, but there are some other BFS size, more like power BFS size buzz baits out there. And today, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys two of them, all right? Now, uh, once again, I'm doing some compilations because Spring was not that great for me with the sleep regression of my toddler. So uh, the first quick one I'm gonna show, which is right now, is uh, well, one that I lost very quick because the swamps, it's unforgivable when you get snagged on the trees. Let me show you guys, let's go. Oh crap, what the heck is this? Look at this red beetle. Man, forest is so scary. All right, Pro Buzz, the mini Pro Buzz, Strike King. This is a one eighth ounce. Let's get a shot. I mean, the top one bite is not happening. Don't see it happening, but you never know. Maybe this thing uh, have bigger commotion and it just might do it. So let me just tie this on and see how it goes. I'm curious how far this thing can cast with a, you know, a BFS setup. And I guess this will be the perfect opportunity to do so. And man, those carps are jumping like crazy. It's uh, really, really annoying because, you know, I see stuff moving and I keep casting and casting and casting it. And several times I end up seeing that it's a carp fin coming out of the water and I was like good lord wasting of my time wow that casts a little further than I thought you know it's just as far as uh that frog earlier so I'm just gonna pull this in just like that hopefully with the noise and everything it might wake one or two snakehead up piss them off mm. Yes, got a fish. Oh, what the heck? That's not a snaky, but I'll still take it. Let me back up a little bit. I'm on a log. I'm on a log. Feel a little safer if I get back right here. And presto. Look at that. First buzz bait catch in, gosh, how long? No idea, guys. No idea. But here we go, guys. Buzz bait catch. Off he goes. Come on. No. Game over? Already? If I go barefooted, I might be able to do it. But right now, this doesn't seem feasible. Game over. See what I told you guys? Man, those beavers, they freaking chew up those branches, chew up those trees, make them fall into the swamps, and uh, yeah, those trees, they take a lot of lures. No matter how weedless your lure is, if you get wedged into a freaking log, you know, branch, twigs, or if it wraps around, if you're not on a kayak, you guys cannot get your lure back. But anyway, guys, I went back to the swamp like a couple days later using a different one. It's very similar, same thing, one eighth ounce, okay? So let me show you guys what happened here. You guys are gonna love this section of the video a lot more than the first, because I caught a lot more. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are. This is the second buzz bait. This is the Buya Pod Magic Buzz, okay? And this thing is 1 8 ounce. And uh, let's take a look at it very quick. I do like the, the blade. As you see, it's painted, and there's actually three holes on it. You know, the wire's going through three uh, different sections. And um, skirt looks okay, you know, your typical. Uh, there is a nice thick bait holder right there for those who like to put a trailer, but this bait is relatively small, so I would not be putting any trailer on it. And uh, yeah, just let it bite the skirt. Let's see how we do. I got the Casking Zephyr BFS and I have the Majestic rod. This is a light tackle rod, but it feels more closer to the uh, medium light side. I got one. Oh yeah. What do we have here? A little bass. Yeah, I saw a lot of a uh, fish earlier over there by those muck and I was like there gotta be at least one bass or you know maybe a snakehead or a, a large crappie that will hit this little buzz bait here. Off you go.
Whereas one, well, there could be a couple more. So hopefully we'll get one that will strike it here too before I head back to, uh, I guess I'll fish a little bit more over there. But it's interesting, you know, the spots is totally different now. Consider it's a, a new fishing hole since the whole thing is a little different. Likely just fish frogs going forward, maybe some toads. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully maybe something will dam back up over there. Let the beaver do his job or, you know. Oh, it just landed too. Okay, okay. That's number two. Three, three. And they're thick. And I think uh, one thing to contribute to uh, this is when the dam broke the water level go down these smaller fish get pushed together and um, it's basically easy feeding so potentially there could be bigger fish when fishing here in the evening got another one wow they're just hanging right by the tree buzz bait fun oh this guy missed it but i still got him he probably hit the uh the skirt area or the, the blade it got him right at the chin Oh, off he goes. Now, uh, it's supposed to be a thunderstorm rolling through. You guys probably see it's pretty dark out here. Got thunderstorm, severe thunderstorm warning that is. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, that would trade up some bites. Sometimes you can let your lure fall down a little bit. And uh, oh, look, look, he just hit me. <laughs> it's a bluegill. Anyway. Imagine throwing a spinnerbait. I'll probably kill it if I throw like a spinnerbait. I mean, but if they're hitting the top water, well, let's just do top water. Who loves the top water? Smash that like button right now. If I get a, a 150 likes just because of this, I'm gonna do a giveaway for top water baits. All right, so let's do it. Oh, got one right over the freaking tree right over there. Dude, they're just hugging the trees, but they're still pretty active. That's pretty cool. And there's something right over there to my right. But man, dink bass for life. Let's go. Oh, that's a fish right there. Oh, that's a fish right there. Oh, that's thunder right there. I wonder if I should uh, put on my, oh, oh yeah. I got a rain jacket that I should put on almost immediately because uh, yeah, by fishing right before the storm, should be a lot of bites. Buzz bait is gonna be a great bait to cover that water, looking for that, um, you know, stor storm, stormy condition bites. So let me uh, put on my jacket and uh, let's keep trying. Got him. Got him. Okay, another bass. We're gonna swing him over this um, this thing here. One. Oh no. Maybe I can shake him off. He's a good, pretty good sized bass. He should shake off. No? All right. Um, all right, well. <sighs> Don't like doing this, but sometimes you just have to. And that is, um, well, potentially lose one, lose a bait. Second, I might lose a life. <sighs> Uh, oh. Yes, I should have gone to the other side, but it looks thinner. But I cross here, just like this. All right. Come on, don't, don't snap the line over there. Swim over. Help, help me help you. All right, let me try this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Put the rod tip all the way to the end. Come on. Come on, it got cut over. All right, let me see if I grab that. Don't. Go crazy. Okay, got him. Whew. Landing a bass, climbing to a tree that potentially may break apart at any moment. That's Jimbo style. All right, let me uh, unhook this guy. But yeah, this guy right here gave me a run for my game. Thank you for the fight. Now that I'm here, I might as well do a few more casts. 
I don't know what's happening, but it looks like uh, I'm landing on the side right now. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's not good. What's going on? Uh, I got bent. Yes, I am walking further and further away from land, which is uh, not always a good thing, but uh, I see an opportunity. <laughs> oh man. Oh, yes, I got some. It looks like snakehead. Yes, snakehead on the tree. Ah, oh, get, get through that. Get through that. Yes. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, look at that. Snake on the buzz. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let me back up, back up, back the heck up. Oh, give me like a spot, like right here. This is not too bad because I could spread my legs. Uh, ignore that. Shouldn't have said that. But you know what I mean, man. Get a, a nice uh, horse stance position for those martial artists like Jimbo. Spread my legs. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a. Uh, not too good, but yeah, here we go. Um, uh, hold up, give me some more line. All right, snake on the buzz bait. Look at that. Ta da, snake on the buzz. Oh, oh, chill out, chill out. Oh, 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 Let's put this out here for a second and roll it. Yeah, it looks like um, that snake had bent the crap out of my my little micro buzz bait. Oh my gosh. Well, that's what happened when you use tiny little um, thin wire buzz baits. Man, this thing got mangled. Uh, I hope I could get this uh, going uh, before the rain comes because you know, the bites are still hot. And uh, it would be a shame not to be able to catch a few more fish. So let me just throw this back out there and see how it looks. Ah, it's still working. So we'll keep throwing it. One and done. One trip and done type thing. If you guys are looking for uh, uh, snake heads. And uh, yes, if you hit a tree just like that too, one and done for some bait casters. <laughs> oh man, hold up. It's raining, so uh, I better fix this quick. No. Here it goes. Oh, got him. Oh, that's a Mondo. Oh no. And it got me into that thing right oh i got him and there's another one right there oh my oh my there's so many right here it's crazy they all should be right here due to the the storm and the breaking of the uh the dam oh my gosh they're just all right here it's chilling i should have been here in the first place oh my that's that's a nice one nice nice one. Oh no i'm super muddy now okay um okay 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 i have to put my bag down now Oh my, this could be interesting trying to grab them. So let me see if I could just grab my stuff and just run over there and um, uh, handle them. Uh-oh, thunderstorm's coming. Here we go. Just... Uh, I'm so muddy. All right, well. Oh, oh, here, yeah. Oh, look at that, he's taking away. Yeesh. Oh, ah, I'm so disgustingly muddy. Well, um, yeah, look at this. This thing's so mangled up. Oh yeah, uh, this thing still spins, it still spins. So I'm gonna take my pliers and bend it back a little bit. I mean, the hook is like so bent out, it's insane. That's why I like the Snakehead Stalker. Uh, his buzz baits, very, very thick. You know, this pond magic thing is made for ponds, not for swamps. Man, imagine a big big bass, they'll probably bend this thing out just like a snakehead because, you know, they thrash and go into covers and stuff like that. But uh, I'm glad it's still working right now. I'm gonna keep throwing it for a little bit more because uh, it's hella fun. I don't know about you, but uh, right before the storm, yeah, baby. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, I just fell and did a split. Did, did Jim just say, 
sprained my legs earlier. Oh, I just jinxed myself. Oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, yo. Oh. That's not gonna feel good tomorrow. Oh, I'm going back. That's the end of it. I was gonna keep the blade and make something out of it, but I guess I can't do that now. And then the video. All right, fam, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Man, throwing that small little buzz bait right before the thunderstorm. Ooh, so much fun. I didn't expect that many bites. I was hoping I'd get some big bass, but that last snakehead mangled the crap out of my buzz bait. Like I was gonna keep that buzz bait cut that buzz bait off, you know, the, the wire and reuse that small little blade because I love that uh, chartreuse painted blade. I was gonna repurpose into some some more, you know, maybe some inline buzz baits. You guys know that I love bending wires, right? Making some, you know, small little lures here and there. But uh, unfortunately, that line snapped. Now, that was basically 10 pound Cast King Cast Pro Finesse X13. That's thin line. Like I typically throw thicker line, even on BFS, you know, Power BFS is all about throwing, you know, things typically out of the, you know, your original BFS range. If you guys think about it, right? If you guys throw thin braided line, yes, it's great for getting some distance out, especially for some of your smaller lures. But when I'm throwing heavier finesse lures, you know, one eighth ounce and up, you know, you don't really need that super thin line, especially if you're gonna be throwing things like in a swamp. Like you saw all those trees, you saw all those spatter docks. Thinner the line is, you know, even if I'm using expensive varvis line, right? Rubbing onto like some of those, uh, tree branches and stuff like that, put a few nicks on it, that's all you need, you know, when you try to yank your buzz bait, your lure, whatever weedless lure out of, you know, even the slightest wedge from, you know, a branch like that, the line will snap, right? I mean, I had like several zephyrs, right? I have like three casking zephyrs. I have some on a thicker line. That was like, again, 10 pound test line. I probably should use at least 15, right? At least 15 and then use like a, a thicker leader for the snakehead teeth, right? Uh, often I use like a 30 pound leader and sometimes I might even double that up when the, you know, there's a lot of snakehead activities. But anyway, yeah, I think I'll throw uh, these small little buzz bait. I'll buy a few more uh, at, uh, you know, I'll throw it like at ponds and maybe even like, uh, you know, lakes with uh, bass and pickerels. No snakeheads, no snakeheads, please. <laughs> Cause they will mangle these uh, small little uh, buzz bait up very easily. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. If you guys want to, Recommend me a, you know, small buzz bait for my BFS or, you know, my finesse fishing. Feel free to leave me a comment below. Until next time, the fish don't wait. Get out there. Catch some fish.